farmer's market started, I uh, think about uh, 12, 13 years ago, and we did that for the same reason, was to get farm uh, fresh local foods into um, dining rooms in the area, into um, homes in the area, and to help the farmers have an outlet and begin to grow again. The restaurant has always been on a trajectory of local food, and it's been on a trajectory of, of trying to create a food community within the city of El Paso and the region, in the southwest region. The desert is a great place to have winter um, crops growing because we've got a pretty mild um, winter season. Right. People can row cover, people can greenhouse grow, and we get a lot of good um, lettuces, a lot of the good leafy greens, gourds. and gourds, and all your root vegetables that obviously go in during the winter right, right. months. So this, uh, the market's, a, a, it's been um, pretty successful in that way that we uh, we can keep it now. It's a year-round market. We're in year, this will be the third year of our year-round market, and uh, it's been successful that way. That's good. The problem with the food culture in the United States, in my opinion, is that chefs don't control the dialogue. And to me, it's important that chefs control the dialogue because chefs understand that food that comes out of an organic soil um, is as good as it's gonna be. They make it taste better, they present it better, but it's coming out of a natural soil. All local? All or you grow them? No. Organic. I buy them. Would you like to try it? Oh yes, I'd like to try whatever you're willing to let me try. I'll tell you what, I know that you're going to like it. Easy, easy, huh? Very easy. And this is the strawberry? No, that's not the strawberry. That is good. Then the one that all my men buy, only the men buy this one. Is that an apple? No, it's banana caramel. I might be the only man that's probably not going to buy this. Oh, really? I'm not a big banana fan. Let's try it. That was good. Okay, you're, you're a That's good. You're a berry fan. I'm a berry guy, though. Okay, let me see, let me see, let me see. What is this, like mango or something? No, that's a lot of <laughs> I use them, I use them. What are you in my love? Okay, that's seven dollars and like I said, you bring the jar back and keep the dollar back. You can oh. taste whatever, but what's left is the a baguette 
and the cranberry walnut. Okay. Use the cranberry walnut. Here, here, let me let me do this. I'm sorry. No, no worries. I'm not shy. Here, I do uh, cooking classes, catering. Ah, oh, come on, dude. Um, any kind of invented involved food? Good, good. I'm involved. Well, well, this is Calavera Bread Company, bro. I hope you guys like the bread. He's, he's an artisan, good. artisan baker. An Are you guys baker. from El Paso or New Mexico? Yeah, New, uh, El Paso. El Paso. There you go. There you Are go. you guys... Uh, I'm gonna have to get a baguette from you guys. It's two bucks, bro. Tenemos chile rostizado de Nuevo México. Recién calientito, recién rostizado. Okay. Tenemos bistras. Cinco dólares. Cinco, okay. Voy a agarrar un bolsa y citra y chile ancho. El ahí el verde. El verde no ha secado. Ancho no. No. No puro jalapeño, güey.